Hey what's happening you one, I'm Sir James from GamerFusion.com and today I'm here to provide you with my review for Omega Quintet which is a PlayStation 4 exclusive. Now the way the story goes is that the city is being consumed by this weird phenomenon known as Blair. Every time the Blair comes out they release these creatures that wreak havoc onto the city but thankfully enough there are a group of people out there by the name Verse Maidens which are these female characters who protect the city and they pretty much use the powers of song and dance to destroy the Blair and to protect those around them. Now going over the graphics, visually the game isn't too bad looking. The parts that look good are the portions that are pretty much drawn out during the intermission segments and of course during the animation phases when the characters are battling out and using their special attacks. Those look really well done. However, the only portions that I didn't seem to appreciate too much because it just looks really outdated, especially for a PlayStation 4 title, is when you're roaming around the different segments because there's hardly any detail in the scenarios around you and that's the only portion that I have a little gripe about again it's not that big of a deal but it's just the only thing I see is like it doesn't really fit or it didn't seem like you got enough development time to fix those known issues but other than that the cinematics look really good and of course the character details now going over the gameplay, there's actually a lot that this game has to offer, but I'm going to pretty much narrow it down to the more important segments, but just do keep in mind that there's actually a lot more than what's being said here. So let's go ahead and start with the battle mechanics. The battle mechanics are actually really well done. It's pretty much a turn-based style game, so meaning if you actually look on the right hand side, you're going to see who's going to be going next in the battle phases, and for the most part, it's pretty much going to be your entire team before the enemy takes the turn, depending on how you approach the enemy. For example, if you approach them first and using one of your little skills you actually get the advantage first however if a enemy sneaks up onto you then they're going to be going first in the battle phases now pretty much the way it's broken down is that the enemies also have a strength and or weakness so for example let's say you're facing an enemy that is a fire type and you use a fire type attack against them that's actually going to be in favor of the enemy because you're actually going to be healing the enemy instead of dealing damage however if you use a water type attack against a fire enemy of course that's going to be its weakness thus suffering more damage so you have to keep that in mind as you're playing in the game now another cool aspect is that you could have each character wield the same type of weapons if you want but it's best to have each character wielding their own unique weapons that they come with but if you wanted to change it up you do have the option to change anything that you want to fit your personal needs now each character also has a unique skill set which has a disc based system. The more you progress and level up you can actually learn these different traits and the more traits and combos that you learn you actually be able to perform more variations of combo attacks. Another cool mechanic is that you have a concert mode. Concert mode is basically like the ultimate attack for the battle maidens and it's pretty much you unleash a devastating amount of attacks. You can set up a various amount of combo attacks. You could use some items in between. However it is that you want to utilize this technique it is totally up to you because the game does offer you a little bit more freedom than I was actually inspecting and I was really pleased about this. Now another thing I want to go ahead and talk about is the segments when you're not during the battle phases. When you're back at the office, when you're back at the office, your party members are automatically healed up and this is where you're able to go and craft new weapons which the crafting system is actually well done for this particular title and of course you could also repair your dress. Now this is one thing I do want to address for those of you out there is that there is what I guess what you can call a fan service meaning that the dresses that the maidens wear have a durability rating. So if it gets low enough it's basically going to deplete their strength and they won't be able to utilize some of their special attacks and if it gets extremely low there's actually a little mechanic in there that basically rips the clothing apart revealing their undergarments such as their bra and or underwear. So one thing I do want to let you guys know is that you are able to repair the dresses and you can level them up. So if this is a mechanic that you are actually worried about, this is something that it's not really much of a big deal because it takes a long time for that to happen. But as long as you keep the outfits prepared and level them up, then you won't have to worry about it. But like I said, there's a lot that this game has to offer. The turn-based strategy game, it's really well done. Strengths and weaknesses, so that's definitely something you have to kind of pick and choose. But again, there's a lot more freedom as to what you can do within this game. 
Now going over the sound portion of the game, you do have the option to pick between the original Japanese voice actors or the English voice actors. So depending on your personal preference, you can have that option. For me, I actually got the chance to play the game on both, and I gotta say both the English and Japanese voice actors did a really good job betraying the roles. So depending on what your preference is, that is what you can choose from. Another thing to take note of is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is really, really good for this title because after all, song and scene and dancing is an important aspect for this title and what's cool is that when you're activating for example concert mode you can actually change the song that plays during the battle mode which I thought was really nice touch but overall the soundtrack and the voice acting was really top-notch and definitely fans are going to appreciate now as we get to the lifespan, overall this game definitely does have some replay value but there's one thing to keep in mind is that the first half of the game is a bit slow. What I mean is that you're going to be spending a lot of time either listening to the characters talk or you're going to be reading a lot of the text messages that appear on screen before most of the action even happens. But once the second half of the game reaches its point, then there's going to be an open up to a lot more action to the point where you're going to be grinding your characters. That's when you unlock concert mode and all these different things open up offering a lot more replay value. And of course besides the main missions you could even go off and do side missions within the game thus kind of building up your support within the fan base that you have all together. And of course you could even go and create your own concert mode which is a pretty cool little gimmick in addition to what's already here. But all for all there's definitely some replay value just keep in mind that the first half of the game is a bit slow but once it opens up up to the second half then things are going to progress a lot more. As for the innovation, was there anything new here? Was this something that we already seen before? To be honest, there wasn't really much of an innovation here because this is stuff that I've seen before with other past games. However, while playing this game, I did get a little bit of vibe from Hyper Dimension and or Hyper Devotion depending on which one you played. So if you're a big fan of those, then you're definitely going to enjoy this title overall. Like I said, the only minor gripes that I've had is the slow start at the very beginning, but the overall story definitely does hold its tone from start to finish. Though there are some segments that I feel like can easily be cut out to save a little bit of time. Another segment is the fact that when you're pretty much roaming around the different areas, it definitely seems lower textured than what was pretty much going to be predicted, especially for a PlayStation 4 only title. And the other thing that I thought was kind of weird, I'm assuming that this is broken down into chapters, but it doesn't really seem like that, or I'm just kind of looking at this the wrong way. But as you're playing the game, you're going to notice that they're going to be playing the intro and outro a lot during your playthrough meaning uh, after something major happens next thing you know the outro like the ending portion of the game plays it's like what is happening here or the intro picks up again so I'm assuming that's basically when that happens it's dividing it into chapters but again I can't really find any answer to that but overall the game was enjoyable just a bit of a slow pace but once things pick up you definitely have a more open opportunity to do all kinds of different things and of course the animation style especially when you're unleashing a bunch of combo attacks at once definitely looks really good so in the end i'm going to be giving omega quintent an 8 out of 10 definitely worth checking out if you guys have any questions leave that in the comment section down below or if you want to see some gameplay head on over to my channel but until then i am sir james from gamerfusion.com where we empower your gaming